everybody, it's a Treehouse Takeover! Yeah. <laughs> hey kids, welcome to the Treehouse! We're so excited that you've joined us today! Miss Wendy, I love being here for Treehouse Takeover. You know, our series, True Identity, has been so much fun as mm -hmm. we've been learning from the book of Ephesians about what the Bible says that our true identity is actually in Jesus Christ. I couldn't agree more, Pastor Ben. You know, I'm excited to see what we're learning about today It was to begin as we begin to study chapter four of Ephesians. Well, Miss Wendy, that sounds really exciting. Let's head over to What's the Point as we hear the points and the big idea for today. Sounds great. Let's go. Welcome to What's the Point. I'm so happy to see you, Miss Dana. Oh my goodness, Papito, I'm so glad to be back. How did you do at Truck or Treat? Did you have lots of fun? Sure I did, Miss Dana. I got so much candy. And I dress up in a cat costume while I walk around with my cat on a leaf. Oh, wow, you dress up like a cat while walking your cat? That sounds perfect. Like a perfect time, you get it? Now, with all the Trunk or Treat festivities, did you come up with a big idea and point from Ephesians? Sure I did. Today's big idea is we are never alone in God's family. That is a great big idea. Go ahead and share the points that will help us see how being part of a church helps us face our feelings of loneliness. Ta-da! Point number one is commit to unity with other Christians. Oh boy, that is really big because when we feel alone, we can be reminded that God has given us a church family to belong to. Belonging to a church family means that we are connected with them because we are connected with Jesus. This means we choose not to focus on what divides us. Instead, we focus on what unites us, and that's Jesus. So what's point number two? Point number two is commit to maturity within the church. Just like we all grow and mature as we get older, God's design is for us to grow and mature in our trust and obedience to Him over time. This happens best when growing with our church family. So Pepito, after two strong points, what's the question of the day? Question of the day is, commit to building up the blank of Christ. A, church. B, bride. And C, body. You know what, Pepito? All of those choices could be right. So, That's what's made the question fun, Miss Dana. Well, for this lesson, I'm going to say the answer is C. Commit to building up the body of Christ. That means that we belong to Jesus and we belong to one another. Because of how much Jesus loves us, we can tell others about how they can have a new life in Jesus by trusting and following him. In this way, the church grows and is built up and encouraged. Wow, Miss Dana, you sure do know a lot. Thank you for helping us today. Now, what's your favorite costume you saw at the trunk or tree? Well, that's really easy. I saw several kids dressed up like Batman. But Miss Dana, Batman is not an, even a superhero. Uh, that's a discussion we'll have to save for another time, Pepito. See y'all later for What's the Point? But Miss Dana, Batman doesn't have a superpowers. He can fly. He doesn't have a laser eye. He doesn't roll faster than light. I was lost and could not see. I was searching, you found me. Your love opened my eyes. Standing still, no more going back. Oh, 
You know, Miss Wendy, I really love that big idea. Mm -hmm. We are never alone in God's family. I agree. I can't wait to learn more about it. But before we do that, let's see what's happening up in the treehouse. You know, Miss Wendy, last week, Hermit and Miss Lauren, well, they were looking for candy because that no good Mac the Rack, he stole all the candy. Even though they were scared to get it back and they felt pretty unworthy, they were reminded by the president of the importance of who they were because of who he is. Well, thankfully, the Treehouse president sent Lauren that text reminder just in time that no matter their size or newness, they're worthy of the task because he has called them to be part of the Treehouse. That's so good, Miss Wendy. I think we should go check in with what's happening with our friends today. Hey, Pastor Ben, what do you say that we go do that right now? Let's go. Man, Hermit, her, Mac the Rack's cave was so creepy. I'm so happy that we went and got all that candy back, though, because now look at all this that we have. Well, Hermit, I can't hear you. You have to spit that out. You can't talk with it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> It was so yummy, Miss Lauren. I mean, I love that we went to the cave and got it all back because yeah. it is like, ah, oh, Mr. Steven! Guys, oh. welcome back. Mr. Steven, my lollipop! I see it's covered in dirt. That yeah, it's covered nasty. in dirt, but can you put it back you don't in need my it mouth? Back. You don't need it back. It's okay. No. It's okay. Um, yeah. you don't need it. But what are you guys doing? We, ju we just got back from fishing. We, we caught like 10 fish down at the pond. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Steven caught them all with his bare hands. It was awesome. Whoa. What? Did you bring us any? No, no, no. We're catch and release, but oh. yeah. Okay. I, I can catch fish in my bare hands. It's a skill I don't share with Whoa. Well, that's impressive. Where'd you learn how to do that? Uh, I watch all those fat bear videos. Wow. Oh, that, that's, that's pretty, really that's pretty cool. cool. Mm -hmm. really but hey, cool. so what's going on, guys? Yeah. You know what? Things are going so well. You, you remember how Max stole all the candy last week, so we, we couldn't have trunk or treat? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Me and Miss Lauren had to go back and get in. And I, I Tony, that wasn't now. going so well. That was actually, like, um, really, really bad. Yeah. Well, Hermit, obviously, it was bad. But what I meant was what happened during that. You know how we went looking all over town to see if Mac left some candy in stores? Yeah. 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 Well, on my way to the mall, all the way across town, I passed my parents' nest, and I got to hang out with them for no a while. No way! That's amazing! Amazing. Your parents are so much fun. How was that time? Well, I actually found some cool things. You want to see what I found? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what you found. I didn't even know what a mall is, uh, Mr. Tony. So why don't you uh, why don't you show us what you found? Okay, sure. I'll be right back. Oh, he's. What, I wonder what he's gonna show us. What is yeah, that? I don't know. What? 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 Tony, that, what, what that? Tony, that's trash. Don't be throwing trash around oh, here. It is not trash. What is this? It's this firewood. Is. This, no, this is a stick that my crow bros and I um, got to play with all the time. I've been whacked so many times with that stick. It was awesome. Wow. That, um, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. Well, it kind of looks like trash, Tony. No, it's, it's mm -hmm. not trash. You want to see what else I found? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Don't more know. trash I got. I bet Don't you. Yeah. Is it more trash? A bigger stick? What, what is this? Yeah. What, Take what, what is that? Is this, that more is. This, this is the blankie that I slept with every single night. It's a very big blanket very, for that, a very special. Special. It's very, um, very it's Mr. Steven, I don't know if you this? noticed, but it's, um, it's very pink. It looks like you that's got okay. it from your grandma's house. Hey, don't don't you say a single bad thing about my blanket. Want to see what else I found? <laughs> sure. What, what else okay. did you find, Tony? Oh, it's not going well. An old stick and a grandma blanket. What? Is it, what? <laughs> what? Do that again, your, Tony. Do that again. Yeah, is that your squeak toy? It's a squeaky toy. <laughs> it is not a squeaky toy. Yeah, it is expensive uh, workout material. Um, Tony, that's not a workout. Okay, that's a, that's more, a squeaky toy. I, I have one more thing that I want to show you all. <laughs> what, what, Tony? What's that? That is a picture of me and oh. my murder. Guys, whoa, it whoa, is. whoa, 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 murder. Why, why, why are we talking about murder? Calm, calm down. No, no, a murder of crows. That's like a group of crows, like a gaggle of geese or a crash of rhinos. Wait, it's are, okay. It's are okay. you exactly. making things up, Mr. Steven? I'm not. That's the truth. Nope. Wow. It's me and my murder. A me, murder. Me and my crow. It bros. is, but look, they look, they look good. Yeah. Uh, back in the day. Those were the great days. Those were, those were the days that I missed the most. <laughs> I'm actually, I would get emotional <laughs> talking about it. You know what? Uh, I need a second by myself. What? What? I'm gonna what? what? Oh no, Mr. Steven. Uh, what? What's wrong with Tony? I'm sure he's gonna be fine. What? Tony, do you watch Wildcats, Mr. Steven? No. Oh, well, how do you know all those animal facts? I really don't know. I watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, Tony, where'd you go? <laughs> is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope it's 
exhausted You will be my strength When my mind says I'm not good enough God, you're enough for me Yeah, I've decided I'm not giving up Cause you won't give up on me You won't give up on me Your love is holding on and it won't let go I feel it breaking out like an echo Your love is holding on and it won't let go nah. I feel it breaking out like an echo Echo in my soul oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. In every season You keep repeating Promises to me Hey kids, welcome to Memory Verse Time. We've been in our series, True Identity, where we've been memorizing Ephesians 1.13. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it to you one time, and then we'll practice it together with the motions two times. So here's what it says, Ephesians 1.13. In him, you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. All right, guys, let's stand up together and let's practice it two times with the motions. We'll say the reference first. Here we go. Ephesians 1.13. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. All right, great job, guys. Let's practice that one more time. Ephesians 1.13 In Him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in Him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. Great job, boys and girls, and we'll see you back again next week as we keep practicing Ephesians 1.13. And that's how lasers work. But... but Wait, what? Gone for a long time. I'm sorry you weren't. Can you hold this? I'm of sorry course. Worried about him. Uh, uh, yeah, me, me too. Okay? I mean, Mr. Steven, you, you've been telling us all about all your animal facts, and then somehow we started talking about lasers. But I'm, I'm really worried about Tony. How, how long, long has he been gone? Yeah, how long? Uh, has he been like gone? thirty minutes or so. Can, can you thirty your minutes. Watch, check your watch and make sure. I tell Tony by the sun. Sure? It's thirty minutes. All right. Uh, are you that's, sure? that's a really yes. long time. We should hey, go look for him, right, Mr. Hey guys. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, Tony, how's it going? 
Are you all right? Hey, yeah, Tony. Okay. Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, hey, buddy. Do you uh, have, do you have um, a feather? Are you, are you crying, Tony? No, no, Herman. I'm not crying. I'm just sweating. Sure? I'm just sweating a little bit through my eyes. Oh, oh okay. I didn't know you could do that. You okay. can do that. It's okay, Tony. So, so, Tony, tell me how you're feeling. You know, I, I just really miss those guys. I miss my crow bros, my murder. Without them, I feel all alone. Well, but, well, but you have us. Yeah, you have, yeah, you have Hermit and Mr. Steven, and you have me. Like, I mean, I get it. You do miss those friends, but you also have us. Like, these, we're kind of like your new friends. Yeah, we're like your best friends. We're, 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 for, we're here for you all the time, Tony. We're never going to leave you, buddy. Thanks, so, guys. Well, Tony, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you remember about your friends? Like, yeah. what did you guys do together? We, we used to do all sorts of stuff. Like, for instance, we would grab seeds from Farmville. We'd drop them on people's heads. We used to, um, I don't know, put worms in people's soup. It was delicious. People didn't like it very much. Yeah. We also grabbed that. a bunch of... You know what? Now that I'm saying all this out loud, it doesn't really sound like the nicest things. It sounds pretty mean. No. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't, sound, doesn't sound the greatest. Yeah, I guess... I guess there's a reason why I stopped hanging out with them. Yeah, that was saying, didn't you stop hanging out with them because you were tired of doing all those mean things or something? Yeah, yeah, I think I wanted to do something better with my life. Yeah. Well, when you come to the Treehouse Club and you hang out with us, we do great things. We go out and we love all and we serve all and we all do it together. The yeah, that's right. We right, do you. stuff together. I guess you're you right. You know, like last week, Herman and I, we had to go, that candy over there, we had to go get it from Mac the Rack. But the president sent us together. Me and Herman had to go. Because we didn't want to do that by ourselves. Yeah, I would have never done it by myself. Yeah. yeah. Whenever the president gives us a job to do, he's never going to give us a job to do all by ourselves. We're always going to be able to do it together. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like Mr. Steven, you help us sometimes too because like sometimes we don't know what to do and you've been here for like a really long time and so you help us. Just a long time. That's sufficient. We don't say really, really long time. A really long time, Mr. Steven. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now that now you, you say all that, I'm, I'm kind of remembering some stuff that I used to do like I, I had trouble with Fearsome Farmer Felix a while ago and the Treehouse Club came around me and helped me out. Yeah, that's right, Tony. You know why? Because we're all in this together. That's true. Thanks, Hermit. Thanks, guys. We are. I, I actually feel a lot better now. In fact, oh, good. you know what? I, I can't believe I'm about to say this. What, what are you about to say, Tony? Hermit, I, I think I feel... Yeah? I think I feel like singing. But, uh, what? Uh, uh, Tony, I've been waiting for this, this day my whole life. I, I, I can't believe you're singing that. I, you know what? Uh, Tony, 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 just sing along with me. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Let it go. Let oh, it go. No. Can't hold it oh. back anymore. Hermit, Hermit, Hermit. After, Come on, hear, after hearing you sing, I, I think the feeling of wanting to sing has gone back down oh, deep inside of me. I'm gonna lock it up. It. No, Tony, it. come on, let it out, man. Come sing on. Together. You, you sing got together. a friend in me. Come on, Tony, you, you, you want to sing? Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on, Tony. Can you sing it? Come on, Tony, you got a friend in me. Tony, Tony where'd you go? Poor Tony. He was feeling pretty lonely and sad after reminiscing about his past. Yeah, he sure was, Miss Wendy. But thankfully, Mr. Steven and Hermit and Miss Lauren, they were able to remind him that he isn't isolated or alone and that he has the Treehouse Club members to encourage him and help him grow to love all and serve all. You know, the truth is, Tony is way better off now than he ever was before. That is so true, Pastor Ben. Hey, why don't we go hear from Miss Erica as she teaches us more about how we're not alone or isolated because we are part of God's family, the church. I can't wait to hear it. Let's go. Oh, wow. That was really sad to see our friend Tony feeling so alone and isolated after thinking about his old times with his crow bros. But Stephen, Lauren, and Hermit, they helped encourage him and reminded him that he is not alone or isolated. The president chose him to be a part of the treehouse, and now he is unified with all the other treehouse members for a bigger purpose, to love all and serve all. Boys and girls, have you ever felt like Tony? Have you ever felt like you didn't fit in with some of your friends, or maybe you moved away from your family or recently changed schools, which made you feel alone or isolated? The truth is we have all felt this way at some point in our lives. Well, we are gonna be reading today from the book of Ephesians is going to be encouraging to us when we feel alone or isolated. You see, Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus who is struggling with feeling alone and isolated because of their differences with the Jews. He gives them this encouragement in chapter four, verses four through six. 
when he said, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Did you notice the one word that was repeated? Yes, Paul uses the word one seven times in those two verses because he wants to emphasize the idea that as a church family, we are actually never alone. We are one. This reminds me of today's big idea. We are never alone in God's family. This is so important for us to remember because of our increasing feeling of loneliness and isolation in today's world. As we saw with COVID or as we see today, as we get more and more dependent on our tech devices for connection through social media or through our entertainment, we can feel isolated and not unified with others. After Paul emphasizes the importance of unity in our church, he addresses the importance of growing in our faith together as a church. Kids, what's the biggest difference between a preschooler and someone in kindergarten through fifth grade? Well, besides the height differences, the answer is maturity. Maturity is a part of growing up. It's a good thing. Boys and girls, we are not supposed to be staying in the same place, both physically and spiritually. Something should be happening inside of us. Paul talks about our spiritual maturity as believers growing in our faith through the leaders in our church who have been given gifts to equip us. Listen to why Paul says we need the church to help us grow and mature in our faith in these verses of 13 and 14. Until we all attain the unity of the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Kids, remember your true identity. You have been chosen and adopted into the family of God as a church family. You are also called to grow in your faith to be grounded in God's truth. If you have never personally put your faith in the gospel, which is the good news that Jesus chose to take the punishment of your sins by dying on the cross and that God rose him from the grave, today you can trust and believe that Jesus defeated sin and death for you. I pray today, this is the day that you will choose to put your faith in Jesus as your savior. You can grow in your faith and live in unity together with your church family. Because remember our big idea, we are never alone in God's family. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for the reminder and the encouragement that in this world, when we start to feel alone or isolated, God, you have chosen us. You have adopted us into your family and we have the unity and the community of our church family to help us, to equip us, to let us grow in our faith. So God, I pray that we choose to remember to not separate ourselves and to not lean into those feelings of being alone and remember that we can lean into our church for help, for guidance, and for growing in our faith. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. That was so great how Miss Erica reminded us from Ephesians 4 that we are not alone if we have faith in what Christ did for us and we've been adopted into God's family. You know, boys and girls, this is such an important message. If you've heard this truth today and you're ready to personally believe in the good news of the gospel by putting your trust in Jesus who took the punishment for our sin through his death burial and resurrection. And if you're ready to be a part of God's family, then we encourage you to talk with your parents, your kids pastor or kids minister, so we can help you take that next step of faith. Well, it's been great being the church together. Let's go be the church out there. And don't forget, we love you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you more. more.